He'll find that they've also asked for the right to imprison farmers who wouldn't keep books as prescribed by the federal government. The Secretary of Agriculture asked for the right to seize farms through condemnation and resell them to other individuals. And contained in that same program was a provision that would have allowed the federal government to remove two million farmers from the soil. If you live in the heartland of America, you have to listen up. While the nation was distracted with the Anthony Weiner drama, President Obama signed an executive order that will seize greater power over food, fiber, and energy in our vast countryside areas. The president created the White House Rural Council to, quote, make sure we're working across government to strengthen rural communities and promote economic growth. Sounds great, but get this. The council involves a long list of the most powerful people in America. Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner, the Defense Secretary's on it, Attorney General Eric Holder, even the head of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano. Why would Homeland Security be involved in exerting power and influence over the heartland? Why would the Defense Department be involved in promoting economic growth? The plan calls for the federal government to control almost every aspect of rural America. It will also, quote, identify and facilitate economic opportunities associated with energy development, outdoor recreation, and other conservation-related activities. Really? When did hunting and fishing become associated with conservation-related activities? And by the way, what does that mean? The aims of the rural White House Rural Development Plan sound eerily similar to a U.N. plan called Agenda 21, where a central planning agency would be responsible for oversight into all areas of our lives, a one-world order. Sound familiar? Joining me now is radio host Ben Ferguson. Hey, Ben, uh, President Reagan, 50 years ago, he started talking about this, and look what we got now. We have a White House Rural Council. Are you nervous about this? Sure, and anybody that's in rural America should be worried about this because what they're saying is, is we're going to look at what you're doing in your life, and if we seem that you're that you're not somehow using your land to the advantage of the overall American people, then we may have some quote unquote maybe strong suggestions for you. I mean, look at the people in Minot, North Dakota, for example, this week who are having to deal with the government, and guess what? They didn't do it right with the levies there. So even when there's a place with a lot of people, they say, hey, why would I want the government telling me what to do with my farmland? Because that area there is massively involved with farm. Where are they going to walk in? With the defense secretary and start telling them where they should farm, how they should farm, and what they should do with their land. I mean, this to me right. scares me. Hey, um, Dr. Heldman, what about it? Why the long list? I mean, if you go down the list, almost every department, I think every department in the White House is represented. <clears throat> Homeland Security, we talked about it, the EPA, the federal, FCC. The FCC? Why the FCC and why so many important bigwigs from the White House? Eric, I think that, that that list means a lot. It means that President Obama is taking the, what is happening with the heartland, which is a lack of ec economic opportunity as we've shifted from a manufacturing uh, sector uh, culture to a service sector cu culture. The heartland, rural areas have been affected. He's putting all of his big guns on it. And give me a break. These people are not going to be sitting around at some conspiracy theory around a table plotting the takeover of the heartland. If you look at well, what the council does, then what's it for? Hang on. Hang on, guys. What's it for then? I mean, uh, really, it, it's, it's overreaching. Assist. It's an overreach. I, I have a hunch that people How in the heartland are going, we're doing just fine. Thank you very much. Keep your grimy How? hands off us. How is it an overreach? He, he is uh, going to be putting money into... It's an into defense department. <laughs> The Defense Department, who knows how they'll be involved. It's everyone from, from a major cabinet focusing on right. issues Give me a favor. Right, hold, Give on, guys, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's, this is what happens when you have three remotes. Let's bring it around. Go ahead, Chris Plant. You're up. Well, yeah, who knows how it's going to turn out, but it's good. It's real good. This is another demonstration of this administration's obsessive, compulsive government disorder. They've decided that government needs to seep in. And it's not just, you shouldn't just be worried if you're in the heartland. We should all be worried about this. This is government out of control. This is crazy. This is over the top. This is one of hundreds of sort of organizations and commissions and panels that this administration has created to wheedle their way into our lives and what kind of light bulbs we can use and how much broccoli we can eat and what we can drive and what our kids have to eat at school. And they're just right, seeking right. to control Tony, every sir, area of our lives. Certainly feels like overreach to me. Not only overreach, right. Eric, I mean, it's so frightening. This is 16% of America, mm -hmm. what's considered rural America, who basically is now going to have its entire livelihood run by government in Washington. Right. They're far away right. from Washington. They like it that way, is my uh, guess. I think Mr. Ferguson certainly sounds like Go ahead, Benny, he's representing that point of view. 
Ben? Yeah, I mean, you look at this. Give me, give me one scenario where the Homeland Security, the Defense Department, and the Attorney General should be involved when it comes to economic development of rural America. I can't see where any scenario those three would fit in if, hey, if Doc, this is truly about economic development Doc, in rural America. Really? Office of Management and Budgets, uh, Domestic Policy Council, National wow. Economic... Small business, it just goes, it's wow, Doc, every department can, can in the Can one of you, can one of you conspiracy theorists give me one good argument as to what's going to happen here? None of you have cited specifics sure. about what Are you this ready? council you will ready? do. It's a big Please, one. Please, give me you something. You, if you're going to ask a question, I'll answer it. I'll tell you exactly what this boils down to. You've got Washington, D.C. and the Obama administration wanting to look at how the land is used in rural America and see oh, if they goodness. see if somehow you're living up to their green standards and their economic conditions of, That's are you actually doing enough with your land and your property. All There's right. a good right, scenario guys, for you. Right. We're going to have to leave it there again. We're going to say thank you to Ben <clears throat> Ferguson. Up next, elected officials are rewarded.